Let me first give you a little bit of context on this thing. Um, as you well know, that the, that the number of devices that people carry around is exploding. Uh, lots of different devices. You, I see you wearing a band. Yes, you must correct. be working out like every day. I try you're making to, your wife proud, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I carry multiple, you know, smartphones. We, we've stopped calling them smartphones. It's not even a phone anymore. You know, it's too unwieldy to be a phone. Sure. You know, uh, very large devices. Um, Everybody is carrying many, many more devices these days. So that's an explosion of devices. They all produce data. And the amount of data is exploding like crazy. And then everybody is now used to getting insights. We call it the explosion of insight. That means for any question, for any sort of argument, any, any article, any tweet, more and more you're seeing people presenting data to support certain arguments. And so it is very interesting that the world seemed to be all of this is sort of coming together at this time. Sometimes it's called as big data, but, but I just think of it as a, as a new world. We think of it as a data culture. So this is, this is happening on one, one side. What you see is that there is a nice virtual cycle among these things, right? You, 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 you have humans liking some data. They ask for more data. They ask for more analytics, which then produces the need for more data, which then produces more analytics and more humans using that analytics. And it keeps going like that. And this is fueling the, the explosion of data. Mm -hmm. And so we call that whole value that you get out of that the data dividend. So this is what is happening. So what's Microsoft's position in this, right? Our mission at Microsoft is to empower every person, every company, anywhere in the world to do more things, to achieve more, right? And, and we deliberately make it as, a, as an achieve more because we, we see this as an endless pursuit of, of do, being able to do more and more. And so the way we approach it is, is productivity. Productivity for people both in human circumstance, personally, I want to get from here to there, I want to shop for things and so on, I want to book a ticket, check into uh, flights and so on. And then also in the work setting, to be able to make work decisions uh, with, with data. Mm -hmm. So that's the productivity. We, we are on a mission to reinvent productivity. You know, productivity is often associated with the office, but we're thinking we're going to open it up with data. And then for that, we are, we're concentrating on two big platforms. We're the productivity and platform company yeah. uh, for enterprises. So, so in terms of platforms, we're thinking of, at the, at the device end, more personal experiences. You see HoloLens, you see Xbox, you see you know, uh, phones and band and other things. These are all more personal devices. That means they, they more deeply understand a human, their location, what they're trying to do, what their objectives are, and then create experiences. And then this is backed up by a cloud platform. So this is all of Azure, it's a huge set of services. The idea is you go from device to device, at different circumstances, it's more personal, it's a, it's, they are connected, they are in sync with each other, with the data. Where's the data? That's in the cloud. And so that's the, that's the connection. 